वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री ना टिल नाउ व्हाट वी लर्न लेट अस रिकलेक्ट वंस टिल नाउ इन जीओसी आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट इज इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट हाइपर कंजुगेशन इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट मीसोमेरिक इफेक्ट राइट रेजोनेंस टोटोमेरिज्म डिफरेंस बिटवीन टोटोमेरिज्म एंड रेजोनेंस ऑल दिस कांसेप्ट्स आर डन so next uh, i'll be uh, the topic which i'm going to deal today is hydrogen bonding right very important basic concept of chemistry let's see so whenever i speak about hydrogen bonding who has discovered this let's see hydrogen bonding was basically discovered by latimer and rode bush right so whenever you're denoting hydrogen bonding or whenever you're explaining see in chemical structures as we said we have used double sided arrow but hydrogen bonding is always denoted or it is denoted by dotted lines first of all whenever i have to write the definition of this let's write it is hydrogen bonding is a weak interaction shown by which one by just by dotted that is like this dotted lines which one between which one are you showing between hydrogen atom and highly electronegative atom remember between hydrogen atom let us underline and highly इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एटम ओके राइट ना एंड वो इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एटम एग्जांपल लाइक फ्लोरिन ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन दैट साइज ऑफ एटम इज वेरी स्मॉल इज इंटेड राइट फाइन सो बेसिकली द नेचर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज व्हाट इज वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स uh dipole dipole ion dipole induced dipole like that isn't it so nature of hydrogen bonding is is formed by dipole ion or dipole induced dipole interaction okay what is this we will see i'll take an example and you will understand that so here it is a weak attraction that i understood and i have to denote by a dotted line that also i have understood i have to show this between hydrogen atom and electronegative atom that also i have uh, understood right so here hi, uh, whenever i take about uh, hydrogen bond let us see the strength order of hydrogen bond strength what is order hf is the bond between hydrogen and fluorine 10 strongest after that is water 7 greater than nh3 2 okay this is the order this is kilo calorie per mole okay right now let's see the types of hydrogen bonding so hydrogen bonding is of two types h bonding it is of intermolecular hydrogen bonding h bonding and intramolecular hydrogen bonding intramolecular h bonding okay now as the name suggest inter means in between two intra means among the molecule inside the molecule inter means in between intra means among means it is between two different molecules this is among the same molecule right okay so let us see some examples for both of these let us try draw one line here start in intermolecular hydrogen bonding i said it is between two different molecules of the same different types means for example let us take like what are the different things nh3 different isn't it hf h2 alcohols acids are nh3 okay 
uh, to inherit all these uh, like uh, even you can take um, fructose glucose all these show intramolecular hydrogen bonding between two different if i have to take intramolecular hydrogen bonding here you have an ncrt also the famous example ortho nitrophenol is one example Correct? Ortho nitrophenol, para nitrophenol, isn't it? Ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde. Hydroxy benzaldehyde. Okay, let us see the, and understand this. So, if I take the first one, intermolecular hydrogen bonding, let me write the heading. Intermolecular H bonding means two different molecules. Right. So, I have given you already the examples. Suppose if I take, or how should I show it in the exam? Right? So, let's see. I am going to take an example of formic acid. Okay? Anything. I can let me take any anything between hydrogen and electronegative atom. I can take any example between formic acid. What is formic acid formula? It is HCOOH. Correct. Now start writing. Between two molecules you have to show. First write H here on either side. Then connect it with carbon on either side. One side double bond O. And the other side single bond O. Here when you are drawing on the double side O on the side. You need to put double side oxygen down. And single bond O here. Now connect it with hydrogen bonding H. Here also. See here, hydrogen bonding is formed between hydrogen atom and an electronegative atom. Correct? Yes, hydrogen bonding is formed between hydrogen and electronegative atom. Whether it is double bond, just click it, write it, and you know. So, what, what is the use of this? Because of hydrogen bonding, it uh, sh shows or it forms a dimer product, a dimer, and this process is called dimerization. Dimerization. Correct? Now, let us take one more example. If I take an example in metachlorophenol. Okay, right. I have the benzene ring here. Metaposition chlorophenol O and H. Correct. Now, one more metachlorophenol. This is chlorine in the metaposition. Now, there is a hydrogen bond formed between hydrogen atom and an electronegative atom. And O and H. This continues. So, this is a thing. So, what is what will happen? What like because of this internal hydrogen bonding? What are the effects? Let's see that. So, effects of intermolecular H bonding. Okay, right. So, because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding. I told they are forming dimers, isn't it? Right. So, because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding, <coughs> different physical properties. What are the different physical properties? Boiling point, melting point, solubility, viscosity, surface tension. You know, thermal stability. All these physical properties. You know, and the, wherever it is observed. So, because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding, as the molecules get associated more closely, you know, they get they become dimers. So, due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding, all these properties like melting point, boiling point, your solubility, your viscosity, your surface tension, all they start increasing. Okay, they will start increasing. Increases. Because of what? Because of association. 
both will combine isn't it we are seeing we have seen here it starts combining so they start associating they will start increasing right now let's come back and see intermolecular intramolecular hydrogen bonding the next one intramolecular h bonding this is also called as chelation chelation means breaking means let's see that chelating okay so chelating means i should not say breaking it is a uh, cyclic member it means a cyclic ring is formed during chelation there is a cyclic ring now so in this type of hybridization uh, like it will form within the molecule intra means within or among within the molecule right it's the same between electronegative atom and hydrogen atom and you know when it forms within the molecule a six membered cyclic ring is formed so intermolecular hydrogen bonding is within the molecule and here a six membered cyclic ring is formed okay let us see an example let's take an example and see suppose if i take an example what is that is it ortho nitrophenol correct so let us write i have a benzene ring okay right <coughs> we said ortho nitrophenol okay at the ortho position this is nitro group isn't it done so there is an hydrogen bonding between among means between no among the molecule within the molecule see here this is what is a let's see in among only inside only there is a formation of hydrogen bonding suppose if i take one more example ortho hydroxy benzoic acid benzoic acid so again the benzene ring hydroxy benzoic acid cooh there is an intramolecular hydrogen bonding formed right so <clears throat> what is the role what happens when because of this intramolecular hydrogen bonding remember that so due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding i said in intermolecular body we see boiling point melting point solubility all these will increase now we will write effects of intra molecular h bonding right so due to intra molecular h bonding bo uh, you know acidic, acidic nature solubility boiling point you know etc they decrease but volatile nature increases remember that boiling point acidic nature because they are getting associated you know solubility etc all these will decrease and but what will happen volatile nature increases remember this is important here volatile nature increases this is uh, one question ortho nitrophenol has less boiling point in acidic nature but more volatile than para nitrophenol okay this concept question was there what was the question in ncrt let's see they said ortho nitrophenol um, has less bp and more volatile more volatile than para nitrophenol why because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding h bonding okay so remember ortho nitrophenol has less boiling point and more volatile and even it is less in acidic nature also compared to para nitrophenol that's the reason 
they they have asked you in NCERT which is team most team volatile. Okay, so orthonitrophenol is more volatile than para. And how can I separate them? I can separate them by steam distillation method. Steam distillation method. Remember, this ortho and para, O and para can be separated. Can be separated by steam distillation method. Right? Fine. So, next important thing. You have to remember after studying the effects of hydrogen bonding. How is this affecting the, uh, the concept of alcohols? How is it affecting the ethers? How is it affecting acids? How is it affecting carbohydrates? How is uh, hydrogen bonding affecting uh, the enol content? I'll be meeting you with this concept in the next video. Thank you for watching students.